James chapter 1 and verse 5. If any of you lack, let him ask of God, who giveth to all men liberally, and upbraideth not, it shall be given him. Lord, one more time, we are allowed to live and be in your presence to discuss your thoughts, your themes, and your word. Speak now clearly to us. Let us experience what we just read. In Jesus' name. God bless it be upon thee, precious ones. You be seated. My title is, and please turn the box off, please. It's automatic when I'm start preaching. Turn it off. My title is The Generosity of God. Amen. The Generosity of God. Now, we don't wear jewelry, but there are jewel stores. And when you go on the cruise, that's where they take you to the jewel store. You can see how much money I spent on my wife. Zero. <laughs> So they're one of the best doctors there is. So when I go by a jewel store, my wife won't have to worry about me, and I'll worry about her. Because she's not just going to buy any, and I won't spend any either. But in every jewel store, one thing is prominent. Diamond and gold are always placed <coughs> on a negative background. And that's to bring out the beauty and the splendor and the elegance of the diamond or the gold or whatever they want to portray the background reveal the best the elegancy of what's sitting there and i can't think of a better background to place our god than the times that i'm living in i am living in perilous times but my god is in precious times of these perilous times. God is precious in the midst of perilous times. In this time of troubles, God is like a treasure in the background. Amen. Just stand out superior and beautiful. Amen. Now, when the psalmist wrote the 23rd Psalms, he was speaking of the uh, generosity of God. That's what he had in his mind. The difference between Saul, King Saul, and King David was David was a man that always recognized the generosity of God in the midst of hard times and tough times when no one knew what direction to take and the society was godless and perilous. David knew that God was the epitome of hope. God either was the hope or the promise of David. Yes. He's never without either one. So he's got both promise and hope. Yes. But he's never without either of them. Amen. And so David would write the 23rd Psalm. But listen to our world as they twist that scripture. And they would write to you. And that's why they act out today. You can hear it in their lifestyle. The way they speak. The way they uh, satire us on their media. They would say, our brethren... Who art on earth? Hallowed be our name. <laughs> our kingdom come. Our will be done on earth. For there is no heaven. One guy said, imagine there is no heaven. And there is no hell. He said, we must get this day our daily bread. We neither forgive or forgiven. <laughs> we fear not temptation. For we deliver ourselves from all evil. For ours is the kingdom and power. And there is no glory and no forever. That's the prayer and the anthem of the unthankful in perilous times. He said, Pastor Neil, is that what they're living? That's exactly what they're saying. Amen. That's what they practice. And they're living in a time that's perilous. But the Bible says, in the evening time, there shall be light. Amen. The people that sat in darkness yes. shall see light. Yes. 
and the glory of the Lord shall be revealed. Yes, amen. The time might be perilous, mm -hmm. but it does not mean it's we right. can't have the presence of God yes. in the midst of perilous times. Amen. amen. The time might be perilous, but it doesn't mean we can't have precious pearls and treasures amen. coming out in the background. Amen. And so our generation that we're living in, they are very unthankful, the Apostle Paul says, and the thankfulness is associated with an unnatural affection, mm -hmm. ungratefulness, mm -hmm. selfishness, unappreciating, demanding, constantly dissatisfied with what they have, self-centered, forgetful of all that's gifted and given to them in terms of kindness, mm -hmm. insensible to the grace of God, to the point of even turning God's grace into disgrace, uh, oblivious to true love and the agape love. They're always fault-finding, grumbling, always grasping for more, discontent. But in the midst of all that, godless society, God is still precious yes. Yes. Amen. in perilous time. Amen. Praise God. This godless world is never content. This godless world, they don't want more. They want more than more they want the most. Mm, they do. Amen. Hello? Mm -hmm. They don't want better. <laughs> they want what's best. That's right. They're not concerned for God. They're concerned for self-interest. Yes. That's the word. Mm -hmm. Background that Paul called perilous. They are selfish, ambitious. It dictates their thoughts and their actions and the lives that they live. Amen. They said, uh, will God Will God? Can God? Does God? They give God no recognition for nothing. Amen. They will lie, cheat, and steal just in the interest of self-interest. Yes. That's the background we're living in. But in the evening time, there shall be light. Be light. Amen. The people that sat in darkness will see a great light. Yes. There's a divine contrast to our world situation. The materialism has dominate the world dominate our lifestyle, dominate our choices, till we all become unthankful. We are more lovers of ourselves, proud of bolsters, godless society, think there is no God. But again, in the evening time, there shall be light. Yes. And David said, there shall yes. be light. Yes. Let's praise the Lord. Praise God. Let's Jesus. give God the praise. Thank you, there shall you, be light. Yes, now, amen. In the midst of all of that situation, there's a generous God. Mm -hmm. A generous God mm -hmm. that does not cease to be generous mm -hmm. in spite of the condition that we're living in. Even though the world is unthankful, even the world is without natural affection, even though the world is driven by self-interest and unappreciative, there is a generous God in our midst. Amen. The, the man writer says here, God is a liberal giver. Yes, amen. God is a what? Amen. God give all time. Now, I was the apostles. One time they were in dire straits, and they're all hungry, and there's no food. A little boy had a lunch in his pocket, in his little jar. The Lord said, let's feed the crowd. They said, there's no food. Send them away. That's our society. Send your problems away. Mm -hmm. But Jesus Christ said, no, no, this is here. They can't make it. The boss said, well, we can't feed them either. Mm -hmm. The boss stepped forward, and he gave his lunch to Jesus. Well, first of the apostles. Mm -hmm. And the disciples said, not thanks. Mm -hmm. You know what they said? Mm -hmm. What are these mm -hmm. among so few? Mm -hmm. Minimizing what God will look to maximize. Right. An unthankful person don't see possibilities. Mm -hmm. All they see is problems. Amen. They don't believe God can intervene and take the size of a man's head cloud mm -hmm. and make it a rain. Yes. A rain so Amen. Amen. They don't believe that God can take little things and make it big things. Right. But I want to tell the people that know their God yes. Amen. are going to be strong yes. in perilous time because yes. we're serving a God yes. that says you will never walk. That's yes. right. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, your daddy can't tell you that. Your mommy can't tell you that. They may wish that. Only God can tell you, you shall never walk. Amen. If I am your shepherd, 
thou shalt not walk. Amen, amen, amen. Come on, give God a high praise. Praise God, praise God. You see, they, they discount him what the Lord had received. And the Lord said, now don't you be unthankful. And Jesus took what they discounted, put it in his hand, lift up his eyes, and the first thing he did was he blessed and gave thanks. Yes, amen, amen. amen. Now, one day there's an object lesson you in the service this morning. Yes, amen, amen. When you despise small things and you realize that God can do big things yes. with little things, yes. Jesus took that insignificant thing. Yeah. And the Lord came and so many said it was not worth you thanking for. Jesus holding it up yeah. and he gave thanks. Yes, amen. Yeah. And when he looked down and he broke it yes. and began to distribute it to 12 big burly men and said, go feed the 5,000. Go feed that mob of people. Now church, I can imagine their eyes bulging. Is Jesus on his mind and watch him as he defied the law of consummation mm -hmm. as he broke the loaves and yes. the few fishes. Hallelujah. They never saw it grow. Mm -hmm. They didn't see it multiplied. Yeah. No bakery came on the scene. Mm -hmm. No fish a asteroid showed up. Mm -hmm. Amen. There was no spawning. Yeah. Come on now. There was no, no multiplication. Mm -hmm. All we know, he gave thanks. Yes. Look what thanks can do. Yeah. Look how far yeah. thanks can take little things and he gave thanks, and when he put it in their hand, it went 12 directions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jesus knows how to put a generous God in a negative background to show his greatness. Yes. If he was in a place of plentiness, that story would never have been written in the Bible. But they were in a desert place. Yeah. No bakery, no seed to fish. Amen. No, 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 no cookery. Amen. A couple of around. Just a little more lunch. Hand over to Jesus. And the rest said it's not going to work. But Jesus gave thanks. This is what thanks will do for people who realize our God mm -hmm. is a generous God. Yes, amen. God. Generous God. Who giveth liberally. Yes, amen. That means he's not conservative. Amen. With his giving. That's right. Amen. He's not he gave us a whole lot yes, more amen. than you were promised. Yes. A whole lot more than you expected. The kind of God that we serve in a negative world is a God that's a liberal giver. Amen. Our God is so generous that he gives good measure. Yes, yes. 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 Press down. Press down and running over. Running down. Yes, amen. Shaking down. Yes. Always abounding. Yes. Amen. Because he is a generous Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Yes, amen. He's amen. not a stingy God. Amen. You don't feed your God, your God feeds you. That's right. Amen. You don't carry your God, your God carries you. That's right. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Right. You don't wait on God, he waits on you. Yes, amen. Hallelujah. I'm talking about a God that James discovered. James is talking about a God he met in the wilderness that fed the 7,000, the 3,000, the 5,000, whatever they were. He saw them and said, Our God is liberal. liberal. Yes. Yes. Amen. Let me need to squander what he gives. I see the Bible. The Bible says the 11th hour, he saw some men out there idling, unemployed. Sermon in the field. They work one hour. Let me show you the God you would like to work for. They work one hour. And when they came home, they had no idea who this God was. He was a liberal God. He paid them mm -hmm. for 12 hours. Yes. Even though they only work one hour because of the generosity yes. of our God. Yes. It didn't matter how many hours they work. And the Bible says unthankful people who work 12 hours and they work one hour begin to chide at the master because of his generosity. He said, look, we work 12 hours and you paid us 12 hours 
Hey, the Lord said, what's wrong with that? You ought to be thankful you're in your, in your employee. Be thankful you got a job. Amen. Be thankful I paid you. Yes. Why are you upset? Because I gave this other person 12 hour wages Amen. for one hour work. Yes. I want to teach you that God is a generous yes. God. Yes. I'm going to tell you who went home happy. Not those with 12 hours, amen, work, but those who work one hour and got 12 hours paid. Yes, amen. I'm going to tell you, whether your wives amen. or your husbands, so what yes. happened? Yes. I work for a generous boss. Yes. Yes. He's amen. a generous boss. I work one hour and he paid me for 12. Right. It was no mistake. It's the liberality of a generous God. Yes, amen, amen. amen. Hallelujah. You can tell the difference in worship. Who really are thankful. When the girl brought in a master box. Among a crowd of people. There were people that he had healed. There was a leper in the house. That was brought back into civility. And should be thankful. He should be kissing over Jesus hands all over the place. He should be licking his boots. <laughs> and thank God he came back into civilization. Because he was an outcast. He was a thrown away, a reject. But Jesus Christ touched him one day. Yes. Amen. And brought him back in the situation. And he sat there and forgot to give thanks yes. to the generous God. Yes. Who not only made him whole, but healed him. Yes. But he could come back to his family. It's in his own house. And he didn't give thanks to the Lord. But somebody, a little girl, walked in there whose sins were forgiven. Yes. And she is so thankful. She said, oh my God, he's generous. Though my sins were as high as the mountain, yes, and my problem was as deep as the ocean, and he forgave them all. She walked in the house and she would express her thanksgiving yes, to what a yes, generous yes, God. Yes, he buried my seed yes. in the sins of forgetfulness. I'm talking about a generous God. Mm. It will determine you, by your worship how thankful you are. Why don't you raise those hands yes. and signal to God yes. that you recognize the generosity Thank of God that's putting Thank you Jesus. into the house of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And brought you Thank into commonwealth that was Thank not part of the heritage. Yeah. He got a generous God Thank that drove down the walls Jesus. and the partition and give you a Yes, you can call it to your recognition. Yes, you can call it to your citizenship. Yes, you can call it to the game on your sin. Yes, and forgive yes, your transgression. Yes, you can call it to your life. Yes, and yes, brought you yes, in. And it's better yes, over you's yes, love. Yes, you can call it to God. And brought you in. And carried you to the right man. And married you to the right woman. You can call it to your house. It's a love to love in. But you got to build. That he danced in the Lord like he's dancing in the world. And they can't take him. But they all forgot one thing. Mm. He's not dancing for them. Mm -hmm. Like David, mm -hmm. he's dancing on that reflection mm -hmm. on the generosity yes. of God. Yes. He said, Woman, if you don't like what you see, you ain't seen nothing yet. Mm -hmm. You think this is anything yet? He says. Christ says he danced with all his might. might. Yes. You know what he's saying? My God is being generous. Yes. When my brother didn't, didn't think I could be a king, he thought I could. Yes. When daddy didn't count me in, he brought me in. Yes. When Sam overlooked me, he looked at me. Yes. Come on, friend. Yes. I want to tell you there's a generous God. Yes. And David said, Oh, taste and see that my God is good. Yes. He's got a good God. Hallelujah. A generous God.
Well, you can't shout because you don't recognize what God did. Hallelujah. Everything about God, God gave. Yes. Amen. God gave. Yes. Amen. God gave. Amen. Can you imagine only work one hour and went home with a 12 hour pay pack? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Here's Peter. Talk all night, like so many of us, doing our own self interest stuff. And we caught nothing in our boat trying to mend our lives and mend our nets. And here comes Mr. Generosity walking by. Mm -hmm. He said, let me sit in your boat for just a minute. Mm -hmm. Peter had no idea who he's talking to. Mm -hmm. You know who's knocking at your door? Generosity. Mm -hmm. Opportunity knock. Yes. You said, what a Samaria woman? If you knew who I am, mm -hmm. if you knew just walk in your streets, mm -hmm. I overcome odds to get here. Right. And here's your chance. I got a drink you've never drank before. I will give you the self drink you will never have to drink again. Amen. I'm a generous God. Yes. I said, I give liberally. Hallelujah. You just Thank walk you. as a blessing and opportunities. Uh, I'm a lady, do you know who they're talking to? You? Peter, do you know who's in your boat? Mr. Jenner Ross. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So long, so long, time, Peter. So long, stop. Let me put for a minute, please. Now, did Jesus Christ really have both? No. He was looking for an opportunity to be generous. Did he go to Samaria for bread? No. He could have got bread in Jerusalem. That's right. Because Jerusalem is called the bread house. Yes. Not Samaria. Beckham him emphasized not too far away. Mm -hmm. He know where it is. But he deliberately walked where it is. Do you need Jacob's well? No. And oh, what do you need Jacob's well to get the water? No. But he went there. Amy, why? Because he wants to act generous. Mm -hmm. There is a generous God yes. that's in the midst of perilous world. Yes. Amen. One that shows them strong yes. on the behalf of those yes. who would dare believe All that right. God is a liberal giver. And the sermon was over. He said, okay, Peter, launch out a little further. Simon, he said, Simon, do it. Simon said, well, what for? He said, well, I want to give you a catch. Catch? I've been here all night. Nothing happened around here. The fish had bite. Peter, you know who you're talking to? The one in Genesis says, and let the water bring forth. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. Amen. Let the water bring forth. Amen. Fishes. Yes. yes. Birds. Yes. Creeping things. Yes. That's the same one on that boat. Right. Yes. That's the same Hallelujah. in this church. Today. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. And so now, Lord, you understand? I taught all night. I taught nothing. <coughs> so what are you talking about? I, Launch out and cast my net. But said, net is at your word. I'll do it. So he cast his net. Church, the Bible said he caught more fish in that one cast than in a lifetime. Mm -hmm. That Peter realized this is not ordinary fishing. That's right. Amen. Amen. He said, depart from me. I'm a sinful man. Now the Lord didn't say anything to him except the fishes. Hallelujah. His boat starts sinking. His net starts almost breaking. And he can't handle it. Why? He caught more yes. in one gift of God with all his life. He just had in his boat Mr. Generous God. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Get him in your life. Get him in your boat. Yes, it is. Get him in your disappointment. And watch the generosity yes, yes, of God. Amen. These amen. young men said yes. God can take little things and move mountains, yes, obstacles, yes, and turn obstacles into stepping stones. Hallelujah. Out there. Don't give up on God. Hallelujah. What He came to do in promise, yes. He will do in hope. Hallelujah. What He came to do in hope, He will do in promise. Yes, and amen. sometimes you get a double whammy. Yes.
Jim Brown. You know, the woman with the cruise oil. And brought her prophet to Jesus. Prophet. Because he is the God of the Old and New Testament. She had no idea. This prophet knew somebody that she ought to know. She's completing what's going on. And the man of God said, look, go borrow some vessels. Notice he put no limitation as to how much blessing you're going to receive. Mm -hmm. You determine the limit yes. and the boundaries of the blessing that come. I'm going to tell you, let's get ready for it. Hallelujah. You yes, prepare amen. for it. Amen. And I'll do the filling up. Hallelujah. Thank Glory you, Jesus. To God. Thank amen. you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I pour yes. in. Yes. Hallelujah. And receive in Christ. Yes. Amen. Amen. It's got coos of all, church. Mm -hmm. I don't think she had the tar sand in her backyard. Mm -hmm. But all of a sudden, her, her home become a oil field. Mm -hmm. I said, an oil field. Yes. I don't know how she got connected to the oil field. She had no bucket wheel. She had no steam blower. But one thing I know, she got the God of giving her oil. And she started pouring. And the more she poured, it's the more the oil comes. And she's watching it. It's not going down. It's just staying there because God is a generous God. He's a liberal giver. The generosity of God went into her house and solved her problem. It was a black background, but God gave her light. I'm trying to tell you, honey, I'm going to tell you about the light is. There's a light that can shine in your situation. I'm going to tell you a problem you got. God can tell you it's impossible. I'm going to tell you my friend of a struggle you got. God can turn it to treasure. God said, when I give, you can live off you after you pay your debt and I've served mm -hmm. off of them. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. Because Amen. he's a generous God. Mm -hmm. The barrel of meal. You know, you know, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to tell you tonight. The young man said tonight that God said he gave you the greatest problem because you're the best among the rest. Yes. Yeah. Amen. You think you're the least, but God said you're the best among the rest. Hallelujah. So I chose you. Yes. For that suffering. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. He said, Peter, you're going to glorify me. Hallelujah. God matched the blessing yes. with the suffering. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I said, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I said, Hallelujah. That's what he said. Now, go down to that woman's house. And she's on her last penny. She's on her last meal. She lost everything. And she feel like now his death is coming after I have my last rites. But then come a man of God walk in the house and said, make me a cake. My friend, I'm trying to give you an opportunity to give God a reason to bless you. Your problem, give God a reason to visit you. Yes, If you don't have no problem, you don't need to be, God says. If you have no sorrow, don't need a joy. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And when that man walked us, I baked me a cake first. Uh, she had no idea a miracle was going to take place in her life, yes. in her home. Everybody else was starving. But God knew if she come a miracle, she would be thankful. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. She wouldn't be grateful. Yes. And the master God said, make me a cake. And when she went to me, he said, make me first. And so she did. And they said, now go make one. But just a minute, sir. I just finished everything. The told me there's nothing left in the barrel. He said, go take a look. I'm going to say somebody right now. You've tried before. Mm -hmm. One time. Mm -hmm. Two times. Mm -hmm. Three times. Mm -hmm. Four times. Five. You failed. Go back again. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Amen. Yes. 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 Well, why did you work the first time? I want to see how far you're going to trust me. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. And she walked up, she thought alone to the barrel, but there's an invisible hand beside her, the generous hand. When she put her hand into the barrel, and she walked away, I believe God's angel came and put some more back in. As she took it out, an angel came, hallelujah, and put some more in. It's called, I will supply all, all your needs. needs. Amen. 
I will supply all your need, mm -hmm. Mr. Generous God. Yes, Come back there. And so, for three and a half years, it never ran out right. because yes. of the God of generosity. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you. And I like could talk to you about the loaves and the fishes. God said, Your cup runneth oh. over. Now, some folks. We go for coffee in all those places. They get a cup almost three quarter full. God said, "I give you a cup of sauce to bless all." That's also. right, amen, amen. I don't think you heard me. I bless your sauce also. When I pour my friend, it is overflow because God is generous. I don't know how you sit there, but my friend, I can't sit preaching this message. Now. I'm excited. I'm a generous God in my life. When He gives, He gives liberally. in one city in, in Georgia preaching. They gave me my, my time to preach very very late and it's getting late. So I realized I ain't got much time. And I turned to the scripture. I said, so first of all, I turned to the person beside me and said, how big is your bosom? All of a sudden, male and female there. So I don't go to their, to their mind a negative world concept. But I was talking about biblical concepts. And they said, Brother Lee, break, break that down. <laughs> Hallelujah. I said, how big is your bosom? You guys don't understand. It's like me telling you to go into Safeway. Mm -hmm. And I give you five seconds mm -hmm. to heap up all you can. Yes. Man, it's one time being a man doesn't help. Because mm -hmm. you don't have a dress to do this. <laughs> And your pocket can't hold what those dresses can hold. A smart one will go in there and you got the right dress on, it's not too tight. <laughs> Lots of room there. She can leave with a whole lot. But if it's too tight, she's in trouble. Like we men with pants. But he can go in there and just go to the car and go. Kick a thing in my bucket. And she can walk out there, my lord, let's say that. Amen. Full. Full of goods. That's how they came out of Egypt. Full yes. of stuff. Yes, amen. I mean, God put generosity in their adversary to yes. give them gold, amen. silver, yes. brass. Yes. Hey, yes. he's a generous God. Yes, he is. Amen, amen. amen. So, there are people that were shocked. There are people that went shopping what I said. And all of those who believe God was generous, God yes. blessed. Yes, 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 amen. One man said, man, I had to put a brand new building, several acres of land, and I got this several bus coming to us after I did what you said. Because, he said, man, I want to tell you what you did. I didn't do it. It was God that did it. Mm -hmm. God confirming His word. the word. Yes, amen, amen. Amen. I'm trying to say, God wants to give you an overflow. Yes, amen. In the midst of the negative back that you had. Go on and shake it down. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Run it over. Yes, amen. God did good measure. Hallelujah. Somebody yes. didn't realize yes, thank you. you walk in a leper, but be yes. here better. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You walk in there with some flesh, but go like a brand new baby. Yes, it's hallelujah. God is very generous. Yes. Praise the Lord. And here's our church. God said, those who have more, more shall be given. Hello. Let him ask of God. Nothing doubting. Right. Don't pout. Everything I have to make mercy that came here. It all happened through miracle. Right. Brother Fonda says, you got a miracle church, Brother Neil. Because every one of us could tell my story of a miracle. Yes. Folks, says how bad make Mary is and how kind it is and all that, 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 that. Mm. That has never been my story. That's right. Amen. Never been my story. Amen. I have no idea what they're talking about. 
Amen. All I know is Amen. my God yes. is generous. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. My cup running over. Yes. Amen. My stomach is bulging. My weight is increasing. Hallelujah. Because he said, I will supply all. Yes. That's all. Yes. Your needs. God gave us more than enough. Yes. Yes. You know, Israel had the offering time called by Moses. And some churches don't know that, but it can happen. Well, he called for an offering. The Bible says, when he called for the offering, the coffer was full and the money flowed over. Mm -hmm. They could build up to 25 different tabernacles. <coughs> Moses said, stop! Bring it! Mm -hmm. I've got more mm -hmm. than enough. The storehouse is Pagunian. I don't need no more. Church, that is amazing. Yes. Mm -hmm. He experienced the generosity of God. What did God anger the most with Israel was this. Israel was in the wilderness and God tested her. You see, God wanted to know how far I can push you. Now, he knows how far I can push you. You know your break point. You're not there yet. You think you are, but you're not. God knows when you get there. He knows when you're there. He pushed Job to the limit, but not to the, the breaking point. Hallelujah. Hello? Yes. He said, I know Job mm -hmm. will not give upon me, mm -hmm. though you allow me to test it that far. Mm -hmm. But when it was all over church, Job had more than he started out with. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Job said, my Lord giveth. Yes. He was wrong about my Lord taking. The Lord didn't take from him. The devil did. That's right. God did not take from Job. He can't find the Bible. The devil took it. The devil took it. Amen. God gave it. And God gave him more yes. than he needed next time. Yeah. More life. Yes, amen. Yes. I want to tell you, church, when your ways please God, this is scripture, he bring your enemies to be at peace with you. Yes. Will they want to or not, they'll lick your boots. Amen, amen, amen. I said they'll lick your boots while you drink their soup. Yes, amen. I'm trying to tell you, my friend, when God got ready, Saul had to confess that David was righteous. Amen. Hallelujah. Saul tried to keep him off the throne and to give it up to David. And the house of Saul went weaker and weaker. And David experienced the generosity of God and his house grows stronger Amen. and stronger. Hallelujah. Michael, I thank you for that testimony. You said God testing your house. Mm -hmm. He does test your house. Yes. Yes. You see how much, how much you believe in either liberal or king. Mm -hmm. The force of God. Yes. It shall be given. Yes. When you ask, it shall be given. Yes. When you seek, he shall find. Yes. How many years he come to the wedding? They got no wine left, and they're bankrupt. They got no money left, no more wine. And Jesus Christ showed up. He said, "Give us some water here," and he provided wine. Amen. Wow, where this came from? The generous God. Yes. Came Amen. to your marriage. Amen. Amen. Came to the wedding. Hallelujah. It goes on and on. But church is what bothers me right now. There's a rich man in the Bible. This man planted a harvest. Now every one of you in this church are going to be blessed beyond your expectation. Mm. Because God's not limited to what you think. Hallelujah. That yes. I will exceed it. Yes, amen. But you may know that I am He. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm Jehovah Shout. Yes, amen. <laughs> amen. I'm your Jehovah Shout. Yes. Break it down, Jesus Christ. Yes, amen, amen. All victory in me. Yes. And here's a spin. Here's a spin. I'm telling you, God said, tell you tonight, I'm going to bless you beyond your expectation. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. When, Lord, yes. suddenly. Yes, amen, amen. Suddenly. Amen. This man invested, invested seeds in the ground. It's buried, he can't see it. And one day he woke up. He's got a crop greater than he hoped for. Yes. Bigger than he expected. Amen. God was not against that. Right. Because he couldn't win the crop. God gave it to him. Mm -hmm. All he had to do was to recognize. 
that the generous God had paid the visit and blessed the vineyard. And the Bible said, he said to himself, what am I going to do? My return and my investment is greater than I hope for. Mm -hmm. I've got more blessing than I planned for. Mm -hmm. My house is not even big enough to hold what God is doing in my life. I don't have the capacity to receive all that God has in store for me right here. Look at it. I'm overwhelmed. I got too much blessing. And I realize it can last for my retirement and beyond that. What am I going to do? You can feel the guy had cancer. He's crying. He's bawling. What am I going to do after all? My barn is not big enough. My house can't hold it. You know, there's some people in the world who so many movies, they just pack stuff, pack stuff, till there's no place left to live. And they live in a little hole like this. <laughs> it's amazing. It's called rat packs. <laughs> they pack all these stuff and pack them up, and the whole thing, this whole thing, the whole thing. And they always felt it's good enough for them. And maybe it is. But they can't use it all. They would need 1,500 life, life cycle to use it all up. Amen. And let this guy, he said, my God, if I bring all the blessing God gave me, my barn couldn't hold it, my house couldn't hold it. If I bring all my house, there's no place to live to sleep in there either. No. It's a blessing. Okay, here I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tear the bones down. I'm going to tear it all down. I'm going to build something different here. And church, he made no provision for God. Mm. He got too blessed. What he should have done is realize the generosity of God yes. to bring such great increase in his crop. And then she said, I've got a right to go back and give God the praise. Yes. When David realized what God promised him through Nathan, he went back to the house of the Lord, yes. sat on the floor. He sat on the floor, stripped himself of all the blessing, and said, oh my God, who am I? What am I? That you should love me so much to bless me about my brothers and my sisters. More than my father's house when I'm the least of the bunch of them. Mm -hmm. Why have you done this? And speak of me for such a long time. David wrote, I shall never want. Yes, because the Lord. Is my shepherd. Yes, amen, amen. No word. By God. Hallelujah. Be generous. Yes, yes. <laughs> my God is generous. And when he was about to die, he told Solomon, Mr. Solomon, I'm giving you from my abundance. Hallelujah. Because I serve a generous God. I want to tell you the truth. That man. God did bless him. Yeah. He did bless him. He couldn't bring that crop on his own. God gave it to him. Yeah. But he, like Israel, you know what? He said, giving God thanks, he's fighting for. I learned not to criticize what God I commended to me in my life. Yes. Let's worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's worship God. Let's worship God. God does not want to be ungrateful to stand or unthankful. Thank you, Lord. God give the man a greater harvest than he expected. It's like Job that God gave him a revival he didn't want. No preacher of the Bible ever had a revival Jonah had. Not even Jesus Christ. I said not even Jesus had the revival that Jonah had. But Jonah didn't want it. One simple message he preached. Not like now I've for 20 years, only like eight people. This guy preached one day of an entire city bowing. And he's upset over it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I want to tell you, church, God's generosity is in this service. 
Amen. 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 I want somebody. You've tried everything. And everything has failed. Everything you've tried gone to naught. It looked like God left you out of the picture. But could it be God have the 11th hour blessing for you? Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I want you to step out one more. You know, I want to tell you church. Defeat after defeat doesn't mean you're forgotten. Mm -hmm. God says seven times shall the righteous fall. Yes. If you think you're falling about the sixth time, walk now in the eyes of the Lord. I'm falling on the sixth time. And I ain't even picked up. But I'm going to tell you, it is the eighth time. The seventh time is too many. God said one more time. Step out. Hey, you know, Ruth was so faithful. She was she walked in the house of plenty, church. Yes, amen. She walked. She was picking a little trash and little leftovers here. God said, now you got to hold the feet. Yes, amen. I'm serving a generous God. Yes, 